Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video we are going to show you how to figure out the nutrient concentration in a bag of fertilizer. At the end of this video you will know what the numbers on the front of a bag mean and how they will influence plant growth. Stick around until the end of the video for your own ebook detailing this information. Let's get started. Firstly, we are going to discuss what the most important nutrients are and why they are important for plants. Nutrients are classified as either macro or micronutrients. Plants require higher quantities of macronutrients and lower amounts of micronutrients. Examples of macronutrients include nitrogen, which is important for amino acid and protein synthesis, phosphorus, which helps form cell membranes, and potassium, which is important for carbohydrate synthesis and helps plants fight infections. Other important macronutrients include calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Iron, manganese, copper, zinc, boron, molybdenum, and chlorine are examples of micronutrients. Based on the nutrients they contain fertilizers can be classified as either straight or mixed. Straight fertilizers will contain only one nutrient, such as urea, which provides the plants with nitrogen only. Complete fertilizers contain all the three major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Complete fertilizers are commonly available in dry formulations in bags like this. However, there are so many different mixtures and concentrations, how do you know which fertilizer is best for you? First, you need to know what the three large numbers on the front of the bag mean. These numbers describe the ratio of the nutrients present in the mixture. The first number refers to the nitrogen concentration, the second to phosphorus and the third to potassium. The number in brackets describes the total amount of nutrients present in the bag as a percentage. For example, if the number in brackets is 18, then in 1 kg of that fertilizer there is 180 grams of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium combined. The remaining weight is made up of other constituents, like lime. So, once you know how to interpret the ratios of fertilizers, you need to know which option will suit you best. As we mentioned before, the elements will influence a plant's growth in different ways. Nitrogen stimulates vegetative growth in a plant and applications thereof will promote leaf development. Therefore, fertilizers that have a higher proportion of nitrogen will be suitable if you want to encourage overall growth in your plants. Nitrogen applications have a greening effect because nitrogen is an important constituent of chlorophyll, which makes plants green. Nitrogen deficiencies therefore commonly show as yellow leaves. Phosphorus is especially important for root development in plants. Fertilizers with a higher phosphorus concentration are best when you want to encourage root development. These are perfect when laying new lawns so the grass can establish a healthy root system. Phosphorus deficiencies can present as dark green leaves and purplish stems. The pH of a soil will influence the amount of phosphorus available to plants, so it is important to test your soil if you notice any phosphorus deficiency symptoms. Potassium promotes flower development and encourages overall health in plants. These fertilizers can be applied to flowering plants for high quality, vigorous blooming and can even infer a degree of disease resistance in the plants. Malformed or absent flowers or fruit can be a symptom of potassium deficiencies. Fertilizer bags will commonly give the exact amount of nutrients in the mixture. However, you may still need to calculate this yourself if they do not provide this information. So how do you do that? Firstly, add up the three numbers on the front of the bag. This will give you the total amount of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium present. Secondly, for each element divide its number by the total of the three numbers. Lastly, multiply this number by the percentage in the brackets. You will then be left with the percentage of that element in the entire bag of fertilizer. And that brings us to the end of our brief overview of the importance of fertilizers and how you can use that knowledge to pick the best option for you and your plants. Remember to check out the link below for your own copy of our ebook. Thank you for watching and see you next time.